So this is a fairly typical patient we would see in the office. Uh, this is a gentleman who's had chronic hepatitis B probably his whole life. Uh, we can see that from the family history as well, that they've had a history of hepatitis B and, and liver cancer related to that. Unfortunately, this patient has not been in a screening program, uh, even though uh, they have a family history of hepatitis B, uh, this lesion is being found quite late uh, from the case. We see he is presenting with a fairly large lesion, a 12 centimeter lesion in the liver, which is symptomatic. Uh, he's having some pain, uh, his performance status is one. The uh, diagnosis of this cancer can be made radiographically given the underlying history of hepatitis B and if imaging were to suggest a hypervascular lesion, a biopsy would not be required. Uh, the other data we have in this case is that he is well compensated. Again, not so uncommon with hepatitis B is we do see liver cancer before the development of overt cirrhosis and decompensated liver disease. It's a little different than patients with hepatitis C. I think for many of us, when we see a patient with a newly diagnosed liver cancer that's confined to the liver, uh, from the data we have, there's no evidence of disease outside of the liver. Uh, there's no mention of vascular invasion. Uh, that this patient would be reviewed at a multidisciplinary tumor board with the possibility of a surgical resection. Uh, resection offers the only chance of cure for this disease, uh, or transplant for that matter, but he is well beyond any transplant criteria. And while the lesion is large, uh, and the chance of recurrence after a resection is, is higher with a larger lesion, I think still many surgeons, if the patient was an operable candidate, would consider them for a resection, uh, even though the chance of cure in this specific case might be considerably low. But as we learn from the case, uh, he has uh, a disease, that, disease burden that is not resectable, uh, or he has some other physiologic reason he can't be resected. Always keeping in mind liver cancer is two diseases. It's a malignancy and uh, complications of liver disease.